having some really sweet autumn days around here, and I hope that you are too. We have been embracing all things October with apple picking, making apple pies, sewing some fun fall garments, and eating really cozy meals. As the temps drop, I am getting honestly so excited for this season which as a summer girl is kind of shocking, but we have been embracing every little moment of autumn. Something I have to admit is that I have never once made a pie and I was at the apple orchard with my sisters and my niece heard this and we decided to go back to their house and do a pie making lesson. My nieces love making pies, so they were the perfect people to teach me. So we whipped up some lattes and made apple pies while sipping on some coffees and just enjoying hanging out. It was honestly such an ideal autumn afternoon to go apple picking, have a nice homemade latte, and make my very first apple pie under the guidance of my sweet nieces. I always say that you guys are watching me learn how to become the best keeper of my home that I can be. This is not something that I've been doing for a super long time and so all of these skills whether it be making a pie or sewing or just getting better at getting food on the table is something that you guys are watching me learn and the more I try new things now I'm not gonna say I've learned how to make a pie though I do now know the general process I'm definitely not an expert but the more I try new things the more I realize that A lot of the things that seem really difficult or maybe even impossible to try are actually not that hard. Now, I understand that nobody would say it was impossible to make a pie, but I think a lot of people say, oh, I can never sew or, oh, I can never do my own landscaping or whatever you are dreaming about in this moment. I'm currently dreaming about sewing a fall wardrobe and doing some landscaping, but I think that a lot of the things that we think we can't do are actually much more attainable to learn, especially in the area where you can just look it up on YouTube and get a thousand tutorials. I have a lot of thoughts and encouragement when it comes to learning a new skill that I do want to share with you guys. But first, I want to talk to you guys about something that I have been trying to learn how to do and get in the habit of this fall. I recently had a birthday and one of the goals for this new year of my life is to start working out consistently. That is why I'm so excited to introduce to you guys today's sponsor, Trainwell. Working out consistently is something that I want to do for my overall health and for my future self. I have a goal of one day being able to ski on the mountain with my grandkids, and I know that that starts now and being fit and healthy now. One of the hardest things for me with working out is knowing what to do and being held accountable. And so I love that Trainwell matches you with a real life person who both tells you how to work out and what to do and holds you accountable. This is huge for me in staying motivated and making the workouts easier to do. You never have to think about the workouts. All of the planning and all that sort of stuff is done for you with your equipment in mind. So it's very flexible. You don't even have to leave your house to do it, which is absolutely huge as a mom with working working out into the routine. If you too are wanting to hit some of your fall workout goals, I know that you will love using Trainwell. You can get a free 14-day trial and be matched with an expert trainer by using my link below. Thanks again to Trainwell for sponsoring today's video.
One of the hardest parts about sewing for me is deciding what I want to make with which fabric. I find it to sometimes be very overwhelming the amount of possibilities there can be whenever you make your own clothes. And so something that I really wanted to do for this fall was gather some images that really inspired me on Pinterest and bring them into Canva and make a little mood board with items to make and items to buy and what fabric I could use and what pattern I could use so that whenever it came down to getting a little bit of time to sew or wanting to scratch the sewing itch, I knew exactly what I was going to go down in my sewing room and make. One of the things I noticed I was consistently drawn to on Pinterest was plaid and flannel skirts. I thrifted this fabric a while ago at an estate sale and I never imagined it becoming a skirt. I don't think that's normally what you think of whenever you think of flannel plaid fabric, but I noticed that I kept getting drawn to that and so I went down to my stash and looked for something that would fit that and this fabric instantly jumped out at me. I knew that with flannel fabric I did not want a skirt with a ton of bulk and so any sort of tiered gathered skirt was going to be out for this fabric because I thought it wouldn't it just wouldn't drape right and so I decided to make the matchy matchy ballet bow skirt this is a free pattern that is super easy because it's all rectangles and you don't even have to get the pattern printed out you can just cut all the rectangles and assemble it very very easily and this ended up being perfect for this fabric because it has the feminine bow detail on the sides without having way too much bulk and just overall being way too heavy of a skirt. For reference, I made a size medium and the only modification that I made to the skirt was bringing the side seam down 16 and a half inches where the pattern calls for 13 inches. I just wanted the slit in the side to come up a little bit lower than the pattern calls for. I did want to go back to the learning process and talking about that because I do have a bit of encouragement to share. We live in a time where you can learn how to do anything, which is so incredible and such I love that because I like to pick up little skills I like to try new things and so where all of those things feel so attainable that is very exciting to me but I also know that it is not exciting to a lot of people and sometimes it can even make people feel like they aren't doing enough or that they should be doing more and so I think there's two sides to that I think there is the side where I would say just try it you don't have that much to lose I promise you sewing in particular is not nearly as complicated as you might think it would be and then the other side of that is just don't worry about it you can buy well-made garments very easily oftentimes way cheaper than it would cost to sew them yourself and so your family will end up clothed and fed even if you're not an expert and so there's just no reason to stress over someone having a desire and a skill that you just don't have and that's totally fine I can only speak for myself but I can tell you that whenever I share sewing projects and really fun recipes and honestly unnecessary baked goods that I'm excited to make 
It is out of excitement and wanting to share the joys and freedom that can be found in being a young mom and a homemaker. And it's not meant to ever say, now you should go sew your own thing and sew your entire wardrobe and it's wrong if you don't. I hope that whenever you are scrolling Instagram or you're on YouTube, and you see people doing things that you don't yet know how to do or you have no desire to do, that you can look at it as an inspiration or just see it as a beautiful thing to view rather than looking at it as a to-do list. Not every skill that you see online will be applicable or necessary for your family to live healthy, wholesome, and happy lives. And so I really just hope you always see this as encouragement. In the kitchen, along with cleaning up our pantry roughly three times a day or more because my daughter insists on pulling everything out of it as her favorite source of entertainment, we have some really fun, cozy fall meals happening. One of my favorite meals to make early in the week is buffalo chicken tacos out of a whole chicken. This is just such an easy one to have on hand to heat up for lunches for several days in a row. With our small family, this will feed us for multiple meals, and it's just really easy to put a little bit of the meat in the cast iron skillet, maybe put on some rice, and it warm up some corn tortillas, and then you have a basically ready-made lunch. So this recipe is from Pinch of Yum. Along with this next recipe, I love her recipes, and she includes in there a little homemade ranch recipe that is dairy-free. So if you guys wanna go look that up, it is so, so tasty. That is really cute. This next recipe is a burger recipe with a little bit of Korean flair. I do make it slightly differently than they say to on Pinch of Yum. I leave out the breadcrumbs and I make it with ground beef instead of ground chicken. You just add a little bit of gochujang and spices to ground beef and then you make it with this Korean kimchi bacon jam that is so incredibly tasty and so easy to make all you have to do is put bacon in the cast iron skillet with some kimchi and some brown sugar and just heat it all up until it gets all gooey and yummy and you use that as a topping on your burger We like to mix up a little bit of the gochujang sauce with some mayo as an additional sauce and as a fry dipping sauce. So we cut up some french fries and deep fry them and have them with a really yummy sauce. And this is one of our favorite meals. Another thing I know you guys are gonna be curious about is that we actually bake these burgers. I just find baking burgers to be so easy we do it at about 375 for about 30 minutes. It's not science, but it does work really, really well. As always, I hope my videos are inspiring to you in your homemaking. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week.